In this video, I show you how to scan documents on iPhone and other Apple devices as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and do consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end from the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my phone and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So this tutorial is really useful because we can go and scan documents into our phone to either send to people or just have on our phone. And the best part is there are no apps required. So let's go and jump straight into this. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure you've got your document out, ideally in a well-lit location. It's gonna really help with scanning it in. So either under a light or near a window or just a light source. So once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is simply go and open up your notes app. So I've got my notes app just here, so go and open it up. Then all you want to do is come to the bottom right where you've got a create symbol, um, and this is gonna create a brand new note. Then once you've created the note, you want to make sure your keyboard appears, so just click so your keyboard's there. Now if you don't have this bar above the keyboard with the two A's and the camera icon, then you need to go and click the plus button. Then you've got these options here. Then what you want to do is go and press on the camera icon as well. And as you can see, we can go and scan documents. What this is going to do, it's going to go and enhance the image and make it look like we've used a scanner. And once you're ready, go and click on scan documents, just like so. I'm not going to put my camera over the document just quite yet. I want to go a quick rundown. So all you want to do is look at this top bar and then we've got cancel. We've got a flash uh, option and we've also gone and got the filter option as well. And we've also gone and got the auto as well. So when it's an auto, that's essentially going to mean once it's gone and aligned the image, it's going to automatically take it for you. With the filters, you can go and click on it and choose if you want it to be in color, black and white, grayscale. I'm just going to have mine in color. And you can also go and have the flash on as well if you've got poor lighting. So I'm going to have mine on auto. And then all I'm going to do is go and click on auto, just like so. And I'm going to go and rise above my document, just like this. And then it's going to go and line it all up, just like so. And then once it's scanned it, you want to go and click on it, just like so. And as you can see, this is quite far off. But don't worry, this can completely edit it. To go to the bottom left where you've got this adjust icon, then click here and you can go and grab in these dots, just like so, and hold and drag in. And as you can see, you get a little zoom in and you want to line up the exact corners just like this. And you can do this with all four corners as well. So I'm going to go and do this one on the final side like this. And then I'm going to go and click on done. And then it's going to go and fully adjust it. And there we go. Now, this is going to work best on different um, articles as well. My lighting was quite poor. So hopefully you do get a good result. And then if you want to go and share it, you want to go and click on done, just like so. And then you want to go and click save. And then once you've got it here, you want to go and click on it again. And then as you can see, we can go to the top right and we've got the share icon. So you, what we want to do is go and click on that icon and then it's gonna go and bring up people you can go and send it to. And you can also go and print it off as well and save to your files. 